Hello, my friend. Welcome to Simply Draw. I'm Elaine, and today you and I are going to sketch this little bunny rabbit. So you need a scrap piece of paper and a pen. Lately, my pens have been really misbehaving, so I've been using a Kleenex to clean off the tip. So just while you're getting yourself organized, I wanted to talk a little bit about this reference photo. So what we need to pay attention to is the key features of the reference photo. And for this rabbit, and for a lot of rabbits, you'll see that the bones on the forehead and the front of the face um, come down and curve into the nose. And there's this bend here, which is actually bone that is coming out and protecting the very large eye. Because he's a prey animal, he needs to watch for raptors and fox and everybody else who wants to eat them for dinner. So there's a, you know, the cute little muzzle. He has his neck pulled in. So this shading here, this dark patch here, is actually the rounded body that is dis like different from the fur on his face the the cheek and this flare you know around by the eye and the side of his head and stuff like that all this fur is in a different place from the fur on his rounded body for the back leg this light patch here is is actually it could be um you know a, a part of his coloring but it's also quite typical because this is the the great big thigh leading into his foot that is kind of like sticking out from his body it doesn't sit flush so these these types of distinguishing features can be incorporated in our own sketch so that even if our perspective is off the size is off everything is like really screwed up we can still put in the curve of his body, the, the you know, the um, bump of his thigh, his feet tucked underneath and stuff like that, and still do like a pretty good job, right? So it's paying attention to the key features. So where I wanted to start today is actually on his head. Make sure wherever you start on your paper, you give yourself room to put the ears in and, uh, and stuff and don't start like too far away from the edge. So let's just get going. And I wanna do this bone down here for his forehead, the curve in where the other eye that we can't see is being protected and then out for his muzzle, which is actually pretty big. And this curves down He's got his chin pulled in. This is the chest. Go down a little bit. And then his feet are tucked underneath. So we'll just do this fur here. And we'll put in his foot, which is, is different colored fur as well as in shadow. And then he's got the, the other set of toes here for his other foot are in and we come down. And then this is shadow under his body and his back foot. We've got a little curve for his toes first that come out and then the flat part of the foot goes back at a slight angle quite a long way because and then we're going to stop right here now up here we're going to add in this curve right here that goes into his ear and see how this you guys this goes almost straight up so we'll put this edge of the ear in almost straight up 
and then it curves outward because this ear is pointed in the other direction. Don't put a cap on it. Okay, you guys, we'll just leave it here. We don't want to go up too far. If that's all screwed up, then we can figure that out. We can cap it um, later. Okay, now for his muzzle, let's go back and put in this, this little dent of shading. It's quite close to the edge. There's a top fold, and then there's a V for his nose, where the nostrils are, and then there's kind of like this little bottom fold in there, and come around and do this side of his nostril, like that, and then the little slit for the lips. Now we'll just shade very lightly around his muzzle right now. We won't go too too dark so just try to use really light pressure uh, with your pen and we're, we're just gonna get down some color right now. Go do his nose I'm staying above the nostril and take all this shading up just very lightly to the edge and then we'll just go out a little bit more. So we'll stay away from the eye right now. We're just going to do light shading. Oh, come on. Not that light, you can't see it on his forehead. Okay. Now, on this side of the muzzle, this side of his lip, we're gonna put in a little bit of shading here and see how it kind of goes like down, almost, not straight down, but this little part here around his muzzle. Oh, let's use his, his, uh, between his toes. So if we use that as a guide, then his, his muzzle ends quite, quite far back. So this coloring here shouldn't be as far. Turn your paper if it's easier for you, obviously. You can put in some, um, darker marks where the whiskers are coming out of his muzzle. Just to try to keep us oriented. Use these distinguishing fe features. Oops, too dark with the pen. Have I gone too far back, you guys? Maybe. That's all right, we'll fix. Yeah. Oh, stuff to fix already. Okay, no complaining. Now let's do this this light patch here because this light patch is gonna help us lead up to the eye. So I have this all nice and light above his muzzle. And on the bridge of his nose, it's also light. Wow, I go from my blue pens that are so horrible and blotchy to this one that's just not cooperating very well today. I'm not paying attention to my own advice. Find a pen you like. Okay, let's, um, let's put his eye in. So if we go straight across his face, because of the, the angle of the photo, this eye kind of sits a little bit below the crossbar. You know what I mean, if we go straight across. And see how it's like a teardrop, you guys? So, make sure that with your um, shape, 
that you try to capture, that you do capture this kind of like teardrop shape to his eye. There's a um, quite a thick lip of tissue around the eyeball, so leave that lighter. And then the, the, the eye itself is so large and curved that it has three separate places on it where the light is reflecting. So leave three, two large spots white and one in the pretty much dead center. Leave that white where the light is reflecting off the eyeball and color in the rest nice and black or dark I mean whatever shade pen you happen to be using today Okay. Now, there's a white patch here and then another white patch um, on the side of his eye. So keep your pen away from that and let's just continue with our shading. Okay, stay away from this patch right here. And it's a little bit darker around the eye. And then this patch around here, oops, well there is white. And then turn your paper so that you can just get this little darker patch underneath his eye. This is a little bit lighter. We're going to go back and do a better job with our shading to bump up the contrast in a little bit. But what we can do right now is just try to get down like a first layer. And while we're down here, you guys, let's go back and just do a little bit more around his muzzle and see this little lighter patch underneath. This is very typical. So keep your pen away from that. It's almost like he's got like a little bit of a, it's not a mustache because it's below his chin, but this is darker fur on his chest so it could be coloring but it could also be some shadow based on how the picture is taken so just to have it a little bit darker on his uh, under his chin and then go down to the fur on his chest And while we're here, just make the, the top part of his foot nice and dark. It's, I don't know if you can tell from the reference, but it's actually the color of his fur. It's a nice dark orange on his foot, plus it's in shadow. Okay, and these toes as well are, his toes are kind of gray. And then there's like some darker orange fur on this foot as well. we we'll just put in a little bit of it. Okay, I think, you know, on my muzzle, I just want to fix, take this down a little bit more and this shading up here. So did you guys leave yourself a, a nice big patch of uh, light shading underneath his muzzle? You can always make it smaller later and like blend it in a bit better. Okay, now let's go up and do his his ears. Oh, you know what you guys? I don't think, that my the forehead that I did I don't think is big enough. looks a little bit short anyway okay 
Now we're going to do a good job around his ears and get the top of his head done. So this, this is actually the top of his head. This is dark because it's the back of this ear and it's shadow as well. So get this dark patch in here and that's going to help keep us. So it starts light in the corner where the light has, has missed. We've got the top of his head and we're doing this dark patch here on the back of his ear. Oh, I hope I haven't gone down too far. Okay, that's good enough. Let's not get too far away. So I want to do this dark part here, and then it's a little bit lighter. And then we're getting into this ear that is facing us. So I just want to do this little bit up here. Just doing it in sections, you guys. And we've got the top of his head, top of his head, top of his head, top of his head. And there's, there's a big distance between his eye and the base of his ear. So don't try not, don't bring this, this dark fur fold. Don't bring it down too close. It's better to have it a little further away. So let's do this kind of little eyebrow that he's got. And then other lighter fur around the eye, lighter fur around the eye. Use that as a guide and take it, take us up to this darker patch. Keep this small and narrow. You can always make it fatter later on. Okay, is mine far enough away? Maybe I'm gonna back it up a little bit more. I'm gonna do this, because this is actually going into the, like the side of his head. Okay, let's let's continue around his eye. Take this out. I want to do this part here. I'm trying to keep my um, proportions a little correct. And all this fur kind of grows out and sideways on the side of his face. So you can turn your paper, whatever is comfortable for you, but just take this out. And down. So this fur is really actually quite long. But we've got the base of his ear here and it starts going into this fur that grows this way. This is all kind of like the rough around his cheek, which is his, um, like his head, which is, you know, uh, separated from his body. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Is this, and then we've got, let's do this other dark, little tiny bit of shading here with this dark condensed fur. Okay, how do I want to do his ear? Let's, let's start with, um, I want to go back and do this side of his ear and we're taking our coloring up. It, it, it goes up, but it also curves, you guys. So try to pay attention to that. To the, a nice curve 
It comes down. I don't know if this sizing is going to be okay. I'm just kind of winging it. And here it kind of makes a sharp curve back in a little bit. I'm off by a bit, but anyway. Um, okay, so this is my dark patch here. This is a dark patch here that's too big. And let's say his back kind of starts with some loose hair here and his back kind of starts there. Okay, let's finish the ear. So we've got a larger patch of tan. It comes down like that. We've got the in part, inside part of his ear. This is wrong on my picture, okay? So don't follow what I'm doing. Try to keep my hand out of the way so you can have a better look at the reference. Now I'm going to do the very light shading. The edge of the ear. Lighter shading. And then the, the dark. Because there's a bend in the tissue for the actual curve of the ear when doing all this. Okay, and then Just take this in a little bit more. And what we're going to do is we'll bump up the shading later to, you know, have things a little bit more distinguished. So let's finish the second ear since we're over here now. This one meets pretty high up. Let's see there. And then it curves out. And see how this ear that's further away ends higher than this one. So just make sure that you take it up, take the curve up a little bit so it's a little bit higher than this one. There's a fold in the tissue here, so just darken up. I might have to pull the curtain. The sun keeps creeping around. Use the sun shadow to see how long this video is. Darken this up. It's a contrast between the two ears right here. Now, where's the middle of his head? Because with the eye. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> wow. Um. Completely unexpected, trust me. Okay, let's get more of them down and then we can come back and, and dick around because we've actually made really, really good progress. Okay, now this fur is really light just at the, the, the back and then what we're getting into here is the curve of his body, which is why all this is dark. He's fluffy, fluffy little bunny. So where do we want to go now? Let's Okay, you guys, let's put in the rest of his body. And this, it actually, it curves up a little bit. And with the way he's sitting and the picture angle, blah, 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 he looks like he's not fully grown. I just give him a cute little body. This is very, very light shading here and it could be his coloring like he's got like a little white bum so oh i want to mine should be uh he should be up a little bit more okay let's just keep going and put in this shading here for the curve of his body 
which distinguishes his body from his his head. Once again, turn your paper so that you can, I don't want to screw this up because you're watching. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, a little bit darker here, this part here. And we just want to have the fur going in different directions. This little bit here. Because this is the the line that the the rough on his face. Okay. Toes. Let's take the. This is um, his other foot. Also has kind of like really nice orangey fur. We can see a little bit, and then the fur from his body is lighter, right here, and comes down. That's what do we want to do with his face? This, this should be a little bit smaller. Oh, okay, this fur comes out a little bit more. Okay, let's go back and just get down some coloring for his body. So don't worry about this being like so rough, you guys. Just get something down. And what we'll do is um, add different tones to uh, get in the curve of his tummy and the difference around his uh, thigh and that leg bone and stuff. We just want something to work with right now. How can this black pen work so nicely when the camera's not on? For his foot, oops, sorry, kicking myself. Let's do his dark toes. coloring on his foot and some darker fur on the top of the foot. Lighter fur. And then some darker fur near the back of the foot. Oh my god, okay. Boy, there's light pressure and then there's no pressure. So let's just like... Enough dicking around with this stupid pen. Okay, and then a little bit darker at the back of his foot. Can't simply draw if we don't have a pen that doesn't work. Oh, I should be asking, how's yours coming along? Does he look like a little bunny rabbit? Does he look like a little birdie? Because <laughs> we've always, you and I have always done birds. Okay, now this is um, on the, put in this shading, you guys, the top part of his foot, because it's underneath his body. So we've got some shading here. And now, now we're going to do this part of his thigh. So we've got the back part of the foot and this darker fur that goes up, which is actually like his, his thigh and stuff. So take this out a little bit and then there's that patch of lighter fur 
because this, okay, and then do just do a little a strip of this darker for here because this is actually like the curve of his tummy. So take this up, darken it up, and then we can go back and just darken up his bum a little bit. Okay, so we've done this row here, and then there's another, where's that, this is like a little bit even darker here, the curve of his tummy. And then with his front foot, we've got this darker patch of fur here. Also tummy curving up here and then we move over a little bit and we've got darker fur here for his back okay So just, oh, and I can just shade them in a little bit better, you guys. I taped the reference photo to my desk so that I didn't have to be concerned about it moving around. Okay, so see what we've done? We've, we've done the shading around his thigh and then the shading for his tummy, like in front of the thigh, and then the shading for like his tummy and his foot and then the shading for the front of his tummy and then the difference between his head and his body see so even if the, the perspective was all buggered up if we put that in it it still gives him some dimension okay so speaking of all buggered up let's get rid of this sunlight and oops Put this light on sorry you guys jeepers creepers and now like i've got some major repairs to do maybe you don't <laughs> go get a coffee i'm going to start at the front and move to the back because i want to clean up his face so i'm going to start by adding the like just going a little bit heavier on the top of his nose and around his muzzle maybe not that heavy because it does look kind of cute and then just bumping this up a little bit. And then with his forehead. And around his muzzle. A little bit more under his chin. His foot doesn't need to look this stupid. But I actually um, think they're not too bad. And then darker on the top of his head. So as long as my hand's not in the way and you guys can see the reference, just work on bumping up the um, contrast in your own work. This ear's like way too fat. Let's pull that in a little bit. It's hard because sometimes when I see, a, you know, when I'm at this stage of a sketch, I think, oh my gosh, there's so much to fix. Where do I start? And then I'm just kind of like meandering all over and not really focusing on doing one area before I move to the next. But if my hand's not blocking the reference and you guys can um, 
work around on your own sketch, then um, we can do comparison later. I'd love it if you emailed me some of your work, you know. Now, for the eye, make sure you, you just darken those patches. But also, like, leave the light patches, you know what I mean? Because that's what kind of gives it some dimension and stuff. See how he's got this little dark patch right at the end of his eye? So just add, add that in. Yes, it's simply draw, but we also want to be learning and practicing and giving our brain a good workout as we try to understand what it is we're looking at and then making our hand do the what we're seeing. You guys, I've completely buggered this up here. What the heck? Okay, first of all, fix his nose. Look at that, I want it nice and dark. And then it comes around on his muzzle. And then there's some darker patches. Make this a little bit lower. And do this here. I'm just wanting to make sure that I don't blend his, his like with the fur on his face. I don't want to lose the border between the rough on his cheek and the, um, the curve of his body behind. Okay. Do it kind of like that. We're, we're only going for recognizable. <laughs> we just want someone to say, oh yes, that's a rabbit. <laughs> that's our objective. Keep it humble. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let's... This is like nice and dark around his ear. And the top of his head. Oh, this is, this, this is too heavy on my, on my picture, my sketch. I'll soften that a little bit, bring that in. It's a nice light patch, and then I just want to do a little bit better job with the curve of his body over here. Okay, pay attention. This comes in a little bit. And over here, and here. This is really faint, the rough along his cheek, and then there's the shadow of his body behind. show my son when I'm done to ask him if it's good enough for the wall. If it's good enough for the wall, then I'll be able to post the video because it'll be good enough as a sketch. I'm doing this a little bit more curved to his body. Keep this patch nice and light.
and we'll just fix up his his bum and his leg a little bit and then I think we'll be pretty good and by fixing up I just mean go back we're doing a bit more shading this is the back of his foot this is curve like that I know it takes time, you guys, but I just feel like it is so good for our brains to be like paying attention to what we're looking at, trying to understand what we see, trying to get our hands to do what our brain wants it to. And all this kind of labor with our art is what helps us, me anyway, this is what I think, keep my brain, you know, active and healthy, because the biggest gift that our parents gave to us was to be 100% mentally aware and alert and cognizant as they got ready to pass on to their new adventures. So if I can keep my brain healthy and do the same for my kids, that's everything. That's a long way from simply draw. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, see? Okay, what have we done here? I hope yours is better. Mine, the 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 ears are kind of um kind of like too big. That's okay. He's listening to everything I'm saying. It makes me feel good. Uh we've got uh, um Kind of like good areas of contrast. The top of the head, his eye, his muzzle, the curve of his body. I don't know. It's not too bad. I think I can shut up now before I start telling you more about my parents and uh, how long they lasted and how fantastic they were. Oh. See this? I have. I want to just do a little bit darker shading to get the curve of the bones on his face. A little bit like that. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. Send me a picture of what you've done because I'd love to see it. And um, thank you so much for joining me. I really enjoyed your company next time you can talk about your family <laughs> okay <laughs> see you next time